Here we are at Norfolk. Been on a little coach tour from West Coaches. Sunday the 29th of July 2012. <laughs> Just had our dinner. We had roast chicken, holding at the sun. Better not go back any. I'm falling. <laughs> we can't sit on them chairs because they're full of bird shit. Let's go on there. He's a bit of a grumpy sod, shouting at his wife. And this is the North of Bronx. We're going on a boat ride soon. We should be good. Lots of boats. Well, yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two minute walk from the other side of the bridge, shall we? Yeah, okay. Come in. Not far to walk along here, is there? Look, we can't go no very far. Oh, we're on top of the bridge. We were standing over there a second ago. Lots of birds, swans, Canadian geese, birds poo everywhere. All over them seats. People are sitting on them, but I wasn't going to sit on it. Don't need busy for boats. <laughs> what in the boat ride? No idea. Probably an hour one way, an hour the next. Who knows? Glad I bought me coat though. I think this must be Roy's town because everything is real got Roy on it. There's Roy's toys. Over there is McDonald's, Roy's McDonald. There's Roy's children's wear. Children's world. And there's a huge department store, which is also Roy's. We've been in there and that is big in there. So, this is Roy's town. Who is this Roy? Oh, all in the corners here, we've got Roy's toys. Roy's children's world. Roy's Food Hall and over here we've got Roy's department store he must be a rich man this Roy I miss one because here is Roy's Bamerson And here we have Roy Shopper's Car Park. Good old Roy.
I've spotted some more bits of Roy. Here's Roy's garden centre. Roy's of Roxham. I think Roy owns Roxham. How far does your food travel at Roy's of Roxham? Fresh means fresh. Roy's, the world's largest village store. Oh, I believe that as well. I would like to meet Roy. The village store. Roy's village store. Royce. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy is everywhere in this town. The town of Wrexham. Well, we're sitting down here waiting for the coach to take us for a boat trip, which we booked on for three o'clock. Mississippi boat ride. Okay, a boat down there. There's our coach. Wests, done a few tours with them. Swan in. The rain's just started. We left our umbrellas indoors. But fools we are. I think it'll be the bottom deck for us. Oh, that's a nice boat. Oh, Pauline's gone. We going there. around here. Direction of Great Yarmouth, which is where this river joins the North Sea. The other direction upstream leads to Roxham, which is just a few minutes away from here by car or coach, but it will take us about, about, about an hour to reach Roxham by boat from here. We'll head through Horney, the village to our left, move out of the village into the countryside. After a short while, we'll turn off the river onto Port House Broad, which is near a pretty village called Ranworth where we turn, come back onto the river and head upstream by the same route. So whatever you miss on the way down, you'll probably see on the way back that this has moved. Plenty of bird life, lots of grey lag geese, they're the most common bird we have here. There are quite a few of the grey lag on the, uh, on the grass near our moors, there are brown goose and the orange beak, but we'll see more of those I'm sure. Other birds, well, coots, great fist of dreams, moorheads. You should see one or two herons. Part of the wildlife is lovely riverside properties, one of which is recently sold, there's another still for sale, I'll point those out. 
there's also a couple of 13th century churches, one of which is a few more cemeteries. If you have a commentary on the way down, I'll leave you a piece on the way back. This view is from the top deck, but the facilities are all below. We just want bath, we should make tea, coffee, snacks, and beers. All available from behind the bath, the bath throughout the tour. And the toilet's on the low deck as well, on the inside of the boat and the stairs. There's the great pressure tree on the left on the water, a few feet away. And it's also the grey lake gibbs on the left hand back. Standing right on the front of the boat, on the lower deck. It's all four miles an hour along here. Well, the herons aren't bothered about the rain. It's on the edge of the dike on the right hand side. See that? He's not bothered about the rain. Oh, that's really coming down now. And we didn't bring our umbrellas, we were supposed to, but we left them indoors. Just hope it's going to stop when we get off this boat, when we go to our coach. That's good, that windmill. It's a holiday home.
these river properties are very nice. Lovely thatched roofs.